Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Arcos 101 and its performance since rolling over to Froyo. Now, I have covered uh, the Arcos 101 both running 2.1 and 2.2.1, which is Froyo, in previous video reviews, but I never gave you guys an actual side-by-side -side comparison and I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that for you now. Now there has been a lot of criticism of the update because of the downclocking of the CPU to 800 megahertz with on-demand 1 gigahertz instead of a standard 1 gigahertz all the time. Yes, it affords a little more battery life, but a lot of people still would like the speed back. And some people actually are intentionally not upgrading for that reason. So I just wanted to show you guys web browsing because I found that Froyo is a little bit faster. Now as you can see we almost have two tablets in frame. The one at the top is running 2.1. The one at the bottom is running Froyo with Flash by the way. Again this is not Flash optimized for the device. Keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and just click on one article here. Again Froyo's on the bottom. And as you can see, Froyo just finished, and 2.1 just finished. Now, only a couple of seconds difference there. Uh, maybe it was a little more. As you can see, a graphic over here is not resolved. That has to do with that Flash plugin not being optimized, I assume. But, you know, a little bit of a difference. Now, if I go back to CNN's homepage, see if I can get that. It looks like I did. I think you'll see a big difference in the performance. Froyo's done. Well, it wasn't huge. A little more loading still going on there on the 2.1 version at the top. I think, you know, the general overall point is, as I now navigate to another web page, let's go to uh, ESPN. Did it come up? Yes, it did. And ESPN, thank you very much. I gave 2.1 a little bit of a lead there. Again, 2.1's at the top, Froyo at the bottom. And you can see Froyo is ahead. Froyo's done. 2.1 just finished. So, again, a little bit of a speed edge goes to Froyo despite all of the complaints. Again, as you can see, some unresolved uh, flash there. Uh, again, because of the plugin not being optimized. But, again, if you touch this, not that I need to demonstrate this, it will resolve and download that missing component most times. That's the as you can see, there you go, the flash content's getting active. You can see the stutter already occurring. Um, again, you guys can't see that full frame, but that's what's going on. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Also, I want to mention the G sensor is, uh, you know, definitely working a little bit faster in terms of, you know, finding the proper orientation of the screen in Froyo. I'm not going to demonstrate that here. You guys will have to take my word for it. You can see that web browsing is a little bit more smooth on the 2.1, even though you guys can't see the full frame. You can see there's a little bit of lag there. You don't see that lag up here in 2.1. I think that's really just because we don't have an optimized Flash plugin for 2.2.1 yet. So as soon as we get that plugin, I think all of the complaints, at least about the web browsing end of things, will be over because there's no question that Froyo is faster, it's just that the Flash plugin is not working properly and it slows down the experience. At least that's what I'm finding. Again, now it looks a little bit more smooth, but it still just isn't as smooth as 2.1. I wish I could get that in full frame for you guys, but wanted to report some more findings. Hope you guys find the video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Later.